That's my car. Beyond that, only question I have is, where the hell am I? Just had one of those little moments that you get occasionally when you're traveling. Suddenly appreciated that here I am in the United States of America, driving through the desert in a Mustang GT on my way to a place where people are going to teach me how to shoot firearms. As moments go, it's a pretty good one. There's an old saying in the military that time spent in reconnaissance is seldom wasted. I'm glad I'm doing this recce to find this freaking place. I don't know where the hell I am. I'm on the right road, but there's another little uh, scratch of a road called Front Sight Road that I've probably driven past. So my very, very first bit of advice for Dr. Ignatius Doofer, or whatever his name is, the guy that runs Front Sight, spend some money on freaking signage. It would really be very helpful. If I was doing this first thing tomorrow morning, I would have been late. That would not have been good. I don't know where the hell I am, but you look up there. You guys ever seen that uh, that old 80s movies, The Hills Have Eyes? I think I'm going to turn around now and backtrack. Okay, it's official now. I'm getting pissed off. Come down the road that I thought might be front side road, front sight road, and it's turned into a, a goat track basically. So it's a bit of a pisser, I'll be, be honest with you, I'm a bit pissy about it. I've been driving up and down this fucking road. You think with all the advertising and marketing and money that they're making, they could have some signposts! The GPS, if you're wondering, isn't showing the site either, nor the road that the site's supposed to be on. So that's not much help. There's a uh, little stand down the road on the main highway. I'll go down and stop and ask and see if those people have ever heard of this place. Talk to you soon. Finally. This all looks a bit spooky. In a vaguely military training camp in the desert kind of way. I'm sure it won't be, but it looks interesting over there. They've got some towers, I guess, for abseiling training, I suppose. Some, well, it might be some sort of, nah, it wouldn't be an assault course, would it? They wouldn't put fat overweight Americans through an assault course. Maybe it's uh, sniper towers or something equally worry. Anyway, okay, I found the freaking place, finally. So now I'll go back to uh, the sprawling metropolis of Pahrump, check into my two-star hotel, and get my act together ready for an early start tomorrow morning. You know how I said I was going to my two-star hotel? To be honest with you, that is wildly overstating the case. I don't even think it's a one-star. Man, this place is a two-bit sleazy dive. Main issue though, uh, when I got here, I said, look, uh, I checked on your, on your website and it said that you had internet access and wireless, is that correct? And they said, oh, yeah, although sometimes it can be a dip bit temperamental, which is actually shorthand for saying no it doesn't fucking work. So uh, it's really important that I have that so I can stay in touch with the folks back in New Zealand and my wife in Bangkok. Um, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here, go and see if I can find another hotel. Because I think that bed is bed bug city. It's interesting isn't it? Best Western used to be a fairly sort of reliable family uh, brand. I've been in a couple in the states and they are real DOS houses now it's a real shame so best western saddle freaking thing in Pahrump don't come here unless you're having a, uh, a naughty weekend with a dirty girl because there is uh, absolutely nothing going as far as uh, the room is concerned or the service for that, for that matter they got some fat pygmy on the desk who um, could not be less helpful if her ass was on fire <laughs> 